Hello, I'm Claudia Lash, and I live in the middle of Indiana. In Indiana right now, it is fall. Our leaves are just, oh, maybe halfway to being really, really pretty. And so I decided I needed to get out a fall quilt that is kind of an older quilt of mine. But this quilt is a good example for me to point out some, an important tip if you're a new quilter. This is something that I learned when I made this quilt. This quilt I think I made in 2003. This was long before I started uh, designing quilts and all of that. But I've always liked to make quilts with lots of color. One of my very favorite quilt designers and teachers has always been Judy Martin. Judy Martin is the best. If you are wanting to learn to make pieced quilts and she has tips and, and, and patterns and just many, many, many books that, that can help you out. So one of her books was called Cookies and Quilts. Uh, I don't care too much about the cookies necessarily, but it was one of her patterns in here that I was making that um, produced this quilt. And uh, Judy Martin, if you're interested in learning how to carefully cut, is a great teacher. Also, how to design so that things work together nicely. She, she has all the help on that. And as far as sewing, um, you need to be able to sew your blocks neatly together. She's just really good on anything about piecing. Well, the, the quilt in her book that I used for this quilt is called Fall Foliage Spectacular. And here it is. I dug it out of my uh, bookshelf just to show you. And I love the quilt, uh, the picture of the quilt. And so I thought, I'm going to make that quilt in fall colors. And as always, the first thing I do if I'm making a quilt is I make a, a practice block. And that's what I did. Here, and I've kept this practice block just because it taught me one thing that's really important. This is the practice block for this quilt. And if you look closely, there are lots of brown fabrics in here because when I was making, or getting ready to make this, I thought, well, oh, fall. Fall has browns and yellows and golds and, and, and some oranges. So I put a lot of of brown fabrics in this block. I also made sure that I watched how I cut, I checked my uh, seams to make sure they were an accurate quarter inch. This block is the perfect uh, size that it's supposed to be. And when I put it up on the design area, I looked at it and thought, well, you know, it's okay. I like it. I, it it's a nice leaf and everything. But then when I looked longer, I decided I really wasn't so sure. The browns seemed to be a little too dark for me. So then I made another block with no brown fabric in it. And then I made another block with no brown. And if you look closely at this quilt, there is not one brown fabric in the quilt which to me said, it looks very much like fall. It just doesn't have any brown fabrics in it. There's reds, there's purples, there's greens, there's golds, there's oranges, lots of colors. I did use a lot of different background fabrics, which I love to do. There's lots of different um, muslin and a little bit of off-white and just lots of background fabrics which also makes the quilt, I think, much more attractive, but no browns. So, 
If you are a new quilter, always, always, always make a practice block. Make sure that you like, make sure that it's the right size. Make sure that you like the colors that you have chosen because you don't want to cut out fabrics and have lots of brown strips hanging around when you don't need any brown in your quilt. So that's my tip for today. Thank you for watching. And if you feel like you learned something from this presentation, go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe so you'll be notified when the next video comes along.